Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and welcome to my unboxing and review of the Sony Xperia M4 Aqua. This was sent out to me by Vodafone.co.uk, so big thanks to them for making this video possible. Uh, this is going to be my unboxing and review, so do stay tuned to the latter part of this video if you want to hear my opinion about the Xperia M4 Aqua, which primarily is a sort of a low budget to mid tier phone from Sony. It comes in at round about the £200 mark if you want to purchase this outright. It's available in three different colours as you can see. We've got a pinky magenta colour, black and also a white. It's got a 5 inch HD display, 1280 by 720 resolution. And it's also got a 2400 milliamp hour battery inside, Exmor RS sensor, clear audio plus, NFC. We've got some other uh, specifications down here as well. This has actually got a Snapdragon 615 octa-core processor. So that's in a twin quad-core configuration. One of them's running at 1.5 gigahertz, the other one at 1 gigahertz. We've also got a 13 megapixel rear-facing camera, 5 megapixel front-facing camera, and I'll go over some of the other specifications as I get this unboxed. So this is waterproof as well, and dust tight, IP65 and IP68 rated. And let's take this out. So we have got the black version inside the box, which is nice, very nice looking, very sleek looking. And then we've got the rest of the packaging. So we have got some documentation uh, regarding the phone, a little quick start guide, etc. But we're going to pop that to one side. We're interested in the actual phone and the accessories. So let's have a look here. So we've got a three pin USB uh, UK charger. So three pin adapter on this end, USB on this end here. So not a compact one or anything, just a standard charger. And then we've also got two extra packs here. This one here is some headphones. Let's have a look at the headphones. We don't normally go into great detail on the accessories because they're normally very basic indeed, but Sony do include some nice earphones with their uh, devices. So this is the Sony earphones, but this is the sort of style. So they're not in ear as such. They just sort of sit on the sort of outer part of the ear canal. And then we've got the three and a half millimeter connector here, and then an inline remote with a little pinhole microphone. So this is gonna be used if you wanna make or take calls whilst you're wearing the headphones. Then we've also got a USB cable for charging the device. And this is just gonna be the standard micro USB to full size USB cable. And then we've got the actual smartphone itself. Now I mentioned that this is actually uh, waterproof and dustproof. Uh, this has got a 13 megapixel uh, rear-facing camera with a flash NFC contact point and then on the front we have got a 5 megapixel camera and various sensors as well. The actual dimensions of this smartphone are 145.5 by 72.6 millimeters and it's just 7.3 millimeters in thickness and a weight of 136 grams. So let's remove the screen cover. Very nice. Nice looking phone here as well. Looks very, very nice indeed. And then of course, let's remove the back one. And you can see it's a glass on the back. So very, very glossy. I anticipate this is gonna be a dust and fingerprint magnet. And then of course on the front, glass on the front, as you would expect on any smartphone. We've got a sort of speaker down on the bottom edge here. On this edge here, we've got direct access to the camera. We've also got a volume rocker, little tiny power on off button. And then under here, we have got uh, the SIM card slot. And then across this side here, we have got the uh, micro USB connector for charging the phone and also expandable memory. This has got a micro SD card slot, supports up to 128 gigabyte micro SD card. So let's get this up and running. Please do stay tuned because I'm now gonna bring you my opinion on the Sony Xperia M4 Aqua. So let's start by having a look at this five inch screen. Now its resolution is only 1280 by 720. You can sort of forgive it that because of the price point that this comes in, but I really do wish that it did have a slightly higher resolution screen, especially considering the five inch size. But for the most part, normal viewing distances, like we're looking at it now, uh, text seems nice and sharp. It's only when you sort of bring it right up close to your face, which you probably wouldn't normally do, that you start to see some pixelization, although it is very well controlled. 
Now color rendition on this, the actual color accuracy, very good indeed, nicely saturated, nice and evenly lit as well, and the viewing angles are pretty good on this particular one. For actually viewing back videos as a media consumption device, I think it's more than acceptable. Let me play you back a little bit of this video. Water resistance down to 300 meters or 1,000 feet. The movement inside it is a Rolex 3135 movement manufactured in-house by Rolex and it just is a gorgeous looking piece. So for media consumption, I think this is a really nice device. You could hear the speaker there is a little tiny bit grating, quite sort of deep in its tone, uh, but it's not too bad. You know, it goes up plenty loud enough, minimal di distortion apart from when you get up to the sort of highest volumes. Now moving on to battery life and call quality. Well, battery life seems to be very good indeed. Now, Sony phones are always good for battery life and this is no exception. You'll easily get a full day or possibly up to two days with medium use. Call quality, again, very good indeed. I've had no issues with making and taking calls on this. Crystal clear earpiece speaker on this particular smartphone. Very impressed with that indeed. Now, with regards to the camera, this is a 13 megapixel camera on the back and also a five megapixel camera on the front. So a good mix of resolutions. And the actual results are very impressive. Again, Sony always do a really good job on their actual cameras. Now these are photos I've actually taken rather than the ones that are supplied on the smartphone. This is the photo that I take with all of the smartphones I test nowadays. This is a picture of my Simpsons canvas print and I take this just to test color accuracy and it's very true to what I'm seeing with the naked eye. And if you zoom in, you get a nice amount of detail thanks to the 13 megapixel resolution. Now I did find that the camera missed focus on occasion. This is another picture of one of my canvases and it didn't quite get the focus correct. Uh, if I move across to this one, this was testing the macro capability of the camera, nice and close to the little Pikachu at the front here. And again, another one testing the macro capability in the intelligent auto mode. And a nice amount of detail captured. Uh, you probably can't see it very well on your screen, but believe me, it does capture a nice amount of detail. So I've been very pleased with the actual performance of the camera on the M4 Aqua. How does it actually feel in the hand? What about the build quality? Well, I like the combination of this black plastic around the outside. Uh, only a few of the buttons actually protrude. They're quite hard to find at times, like the volume rocker, very fiddly, the little tiny power button. Yeah, nicely engineered, but again, very, very small. But I suppose they had to keep these buttons quite small because it's only 7.3 millimeters thick. The glass on the back, as suspected, is a fingerprint magnet, uh, but it feels nice and comfortable in the hand. We've got no sharp edges. We've got these nice curves on the corners. So it does fit very nicely in the hand, despite being quite a large five inch HD display. Overall, it's very well built, there's no creaks. It feels like a premium device despite its very affordable price. I think this makes a very good choice. If you're looking for a mid-tier Android smartphone, then the Sony Xperia M4 Aqua is well worth considering. So that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please do hit that like button. Please do subscribe. Check out the links in the video description. And I'll see you all in another video on the Geek & Noise channel very soon.